Nick, nice to hear from you again. So you and of course the number one YouTube channel in the world. YouTube channel in the world. She told me all my heart in a bag and nobody gets hurt. Now I'm running from his love, not fast. Love your karaoke by the way, it's absolutely great. You know what, Paul's right. Our covers do hit different, don't they? So dudes, welcome back to the number one YouTube channel in the entire world. Today is a very special video because we are gonna be dissecting Paul and Karini's relationship, going into their relationship drama, the accusations of physical abuse. We're gonna be covering it all in today's episode and we actually got a cameo back from Paul. You're lying. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at Paul's updated cameo that's updating us on the situation. He actually addresses the year wet sock community. Aww. That is so nice of him. I'm happy he got back to me. I guess there was some confusion. I said, Paul, where's my cameo update? He said, Nick, I didn't get your message the first time. So there was some confusion, but he made the cameo for us. So stick around till the end of this video because we're going to be diving balls deep into Karini and Paul's relationship drama. <laughs> I'm speaking. I'm so excited. So before we get our scalpels out and absolutely dissect Paul and his side of the story, why don't we look at what's happening with Paul and Karini currently on the show? I don't know about y'all, but I feel weird watching their segments on the show now because of all the back and forth that's happening. For those of you that don't know, Paul has been oversharing a lot of personal information about them and what's happening even on the legal side of things on Instagram. And after he makes these posts, he usually deletes them after like 12 hours or so. For content's sake, I go into greater detail about what specifically he posted on social media in this video and this video. So you guys are free to go watch those after you watch this current video. Something I find strange is that Paul's Instagram bio is a sentence in Portuguese. I use Google Google Translate because I'm not trilingual like my friend James Marriott. This, this source is in Portuguese. If only there was a YouTuber out there who could speak both English and Portuguese. I'm trilingual. That's the coolest fucking story I've ever heard in my entire life. That's insane. Yeah, the whole Portuguese sentence Instagram bio thing weirds me out because the entire segment on the show, Paul has been trying to convince Karini that America is superior to every other place in the world. And he goes about doing this in the weirdest ways, like showing Karini the marvels of the American grocery store and the incredible advancement to technology in the American sewage plants. Meanwhile, everybody's like, yo, dude, they have sewage plants and grocery stores in Brazil too. So I just find it funny that the guy that's constantly trying to be like, America's the best, America's the best, has uh, his bio written in Portuguese. Now living in Brazil, what's up with that? And it's even weirder because he doesn't speak Portuguese. It's like those girls that go study abroad and then they're like, oh, I'm French now. And it's like, bro, Shut up. In the last cameo we ordered from Paul, he told us that he was getting the house in order and he was doing things around the house to stay busy and make sure everything's great for him, Pierre, and Karini. And I think that's genuinely the purpose of his video he uploaded to show us that he did what he said he was going to do. I just don't really understand what the point is of cleaning the house and getting everything in order and showing us proof of it when that has nothing to do with your wife being happy and your wife not wanting to be with you anymore. Like all of a sudden you cleaning the house and making it look presentable doesn't mean that she's gonna come back and all those problems that you guys have in your relationship are gonna go away. I think it's safe to say that Paul posting this house tour is his way of showing Karini and more importantly the public, you and me and everybody that watches the show, that he has provided an upgraded living environment for his family. And honestly, I'm not gonna hate on the house. I think Paul has made more money because he's made more money on Cameo and he's got a following because of the show Nine Day Fiance. So he's been able to get some brand deals maybe on Instagram. I'm not exactly sure where the revenue is coming from. I think a lot of it is coming from Cameo, and he does make good cameos. Now, I and a lot of other people think that Karini feels very isolated in the United States. Paul has even said that, that they joined a, a faith Brazilian church group or something like that, and he says that she was doing better with that group. You hear that? That's me unfolding my Bible. <laughs> I think she'd do even better if she lived in Brazil. From watching them interact, it seems like Paul treats Karini more like a prisoner than an equal partner. Having cameras everywhere, controlling her travel documents, controlling her phone, posting the restraining order on Instagram. Not to mention posting an Instagram story from a hospital bed saying you got an STD from your wife. What a idiot! Paul keeps finding every excuse for them to stay in the United States and she's not getting anywhere. She feels trapped and isolated. Me and Karina have been arguing a lot lately. It's been very stressful. So I'm trying to make Karina feel more at home. So I've picked up some plantains from the grocery store. I bet the women love that. <laughs> he bought her plantains, dude. How is buying this girl bananas gonna change anything? She misses Brazil. She wants to go live in Brazil. Dude, buying her bananas from the grocery store isn't gonna fix everything. Oh my God. Hopefully this will help smooth things over. Hey. I'm gonna see some plantains. I got them extra big, as big as I could find them. Is it big enough? That's what she said. <laughs> 
I'm not even kidding right now. Every time I look at this girl, she looks tired and like she's held there against her will. I've actually seen footage that like Fox News or CNN shows us of like war prisoners that are more smiley than this girl. That's not as green though. You like him green. Showed him my baddie. She my little boo thing. And Karini likes some greeny. What? Karini likes some greeny. Let's say I'll take you in Prego. What? Job. No, I haven't got with him yet. I've applied for some things, but no one's calling me back right now. So it's been frustrating. Dude, Karini's starting to age like Obama after he left the presidency. Oh my God. This woman's like 23 or 24 and she looks 35. So Karini basically says, Paul says he's gonna get a job. He never gets a job. He says he's looking for a job. He's really not. So Karini then tells Paul that she went to immigration and he doesn't handle it that well. I talked to the lawyer. Did you go to immigration attorney? First of all, how did you get there? I ordered Uber by myself. <laughs> Dude, Paul is acting like she's his captive and he's like, How'd you get out of the house? Yo, who let my wife out of the house, bro? If I came home and not seen you here, I would have freaked out. But why do you want to go see a lawyer? Because I hate you. Hikers, Paul looks pretty crazy here. And from what he's saying, man, super controlling. Like I said earlier, Paul seems like the kind of guy here that uh, likes to skin your face and wear it to his birthday party. Come again? Allegedly, I'm joking, guys. He doesn't really do that. But on the low low, though. I went to see my rights. So Karini says that she went to see a lawyer. She wanted to see her rights. And Paul gets really defensive. And he's like, oh my God, how could she do this? She knows her rights. She can leave. She can do whatever she wants. I feel like she's going behind my back. Is she planning on leaving? She's been telling me that she doesn't like America for the past two years, but now it seems like she's about to slip in my grass. How did she get, she knows how to order Ubers? You're a permanent resident. He's a US citizen. So what did she answer to you that I haven't already told her? She said that I have the right to travel with Pierre alone. Do what? Yo, Paul, she can't go without your permission somewhere to like talk to an attorney and just figure out what her rights are. This is not a good response at all to this. So you want to take the baby and just leave? Just leave me here? Is that it? Yikers, this is awkward. My armpits are spicy. I don't know why she's telling him the plan. It's better to just sneak out in the middle of the night and just dip. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that I've done that before, but uh... Yeah, you know, I've totally done that. I've been providing for you and Pierre, okay? I'm trying to do everything you need. Food, clothes, cell phone. There's nothing that you've asked for that we haven't got. Everything comes from me and you're gonna take the baby and just jump ship. Yes, exactly. Okay, Paul, let's not make ourselves sound like the best provider ever and like you made her, okay? So Paul went over there hunting for a wife in Brazil, picked up one, brought her to the United States, couldn't secure a stable job with a good income. And now he's upset at this girl for wanting to go back to Brazil to hang out with her family and friends and live in a country where it's not as expensive as the United States because the provider can't find a stable job. Like, I don't see anything wrong with what she's doing. She's living in the United States. She's a resident. She can go see what her rights are. I just need some time with my son and my family. That's messed up. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. I don't think there's anything wrong with wanting to take your baby and show your family in Brazil the baby and spend time away from your husband. Like people spend time away from each other all the time. Okay, now let's look at that magical date when Paul took Karini to a sewage plant because nothing says romance like the smell of shit. What? So we're gonna go to a water treatment plant and uh, you can see how here in America we treat the water and things. Maybe we'll get a job, who knows? I'm taking Karina to a water treatment plant so she can see some of the other things that America has to offer for our community. Yo, after the poop plant, you should show her the riots and the looting <laughs> too soon. Jesus Christ, dude. There are people that really believe this. But the real reason for going to the sewage treatment plant is I'm gonna try to find a job in there. And I think it's gonna help a lot having Karina and Pierre with me. I don't know what bringing your family has to do with getting a job at the sewage plant unless you're trying to play the sympathy card and be like, see my family? I brought them along for the tour. Yeah, I need to feed them and I don't have a job. Will you give me a job? Like, I just think that that's such a bitchy tactic. Like, if I was the person that was looking to hire you and you brought your family and tried to play the sympathy card, I'd probably tell you to get Sanitizes the water. I'm bad. It's just All the time you say Brazil, put water. Turn on shit, put water. So Karini is a little frustrated with Paul because he was not down for the Brazilian sewage plant, but yet he's here showing her the American sewage plant. Unbelievable, this guy. I tell you what, he didn't like the Brazilian poo poo water, but now he's showing her the American poo poo water. I just, it's so hypocritical. Barry, how you doing today? I'm doing good. I think the plant is going to plant of water treatment. 
é um pouco absurdo. Barry, my wife Greeny. Greeny Barry. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Ele tá obsessionado. Se o Paul sabe tanto sobre canos, ele deveria encontrar um trabalho como encanador. Yeah, I, I, fair enough, fair point. Ok, so they proceed to literally have a tour of the uh, sewage plant. So Paul's going around being like, banging on the walls, like, nice bones. Yeah, it's a good place. Oh, quality uh, sewage plant you got here. Karini, can you look at look at that right there? Wow, what a plant. I've never seen a plant this great in my whole life. Why did you bring Karini on a date to the sewage plant, dog? Yeah, I don't trust anyone that wears camo shirts. Okay, your wet socks, it's the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's look at Paul's cameo where he addresses everything that he's going through right now, his side of the story, a life update with him and Karini and their relationship. Let's look at that footage right now where he addresses the Your Wet Sock community. Nick, nice to hear from you again. So you and of course number one YouTube channel in the world. Love your karaoke by the way, it's absolutely great. We do have great karaoke, don't we? We're the best. Um, so, um, you'll want to update on what's going on in my life. Our life is a roller coaster. It just is what it is. Uh, we aren't going to be discussing um, my family's life on social media or anything anymore. Um, but things are going to work out for the best. Uh, I'm really happy with the outcome that's that's happening and everything is going to be okay. That's one reason why I, I keep the same wedding ring. It's got all kinds of little dents and, and things on it and it's um, gives it character. It's, it's been through a lot. It's dented and dinged. Um, and that's one thing I like about, about this ring, um, in my personal opinion. So uh, basically, I am uh, staying busy. I uh, came to Brazil to clean and get things organized. It's progressing really good actually uh, here. Okay, so right away you can tell that Paul watches our channel and watch our videos covering the subject. I think that it's a good thing moving forward that he's addressing that he's gonna make it more private for him and his family and not overshare on social media, especially with personal matters like that. I like that he addressed that right off the bat. There's a lot more to cover, so I'm just gonna go back to it. I'm not gonna say where Karini is. All I'm gonna say is she's safe, she's healthy, she's doing great, as is Pierre. Um, there in the United States. I am here. Um, I know uh, eventually that's probably going to flip flop uh, around, um, probably, but as of right now, I'm kind of preparing the place. This place, when I left, it was not baby safe, wasn't baby friendly, it wasn't sanitary. Um, if you've seen the TV show, you know it's, it's problematic, but it's progressing pretty good. Um, I'll, I'll let you have a sneak peek of the room I'm in now. This is what used to be the master bedroom. Um, so, what has progressed into we got the TV uh, is back there, it's like a little photo on the wall. But it's not bad. We got some some new carpet in here. Uh, got a pretty nice slice sofa. I can tell right away Paul's not trying to give a lot of information away, but he did give some stuff away. So right now Paul's in Brazil managing the place, uh, making sure that the construction goes smoothly and doing that part of it so that his wife and his son can live comfortably when they eventually flip-flop. Why they're eventually gonna flip-flop, I'm assuming he's allowed 90 days in Brazil and then has to go to a different country or go back to the United States. So I'm speculating because everything happened so fast, he didn't have time to get a tourism visa or anything like that. So he's gonna stay there for 90 days and then he's gonna go back. So Paul goes on to show more about the place and then he gets to this topic. Everything's gonna progress. Um, I think there's a lot of negativity in America. I think that uh, social media um, has been very toxic. I think that um, a lot of things the show mean well, um, but there's been a lot of toxic toxicity, I guess you could say, a lot of toxic things. Um, and it's best that uh, our life is private. Um, it's gonna be a lot more private uh, and pulled back. And I think that uh, stepping away from the United States for a while, um, for everybody um, and being secluded for a while is going to be the best thing for everybody to kind of, you know, get their space, get their time and heal. Uh, so I'm kind of preparing everything here. Yes, sir. Yeah. Family's down there too, but yeah, pretty much this entire building, her family's this, this entire building. So everyone here is really, really nice. They've been really, really great. Um, I have nothing negative to say about anybody here. Anyway, that's all I can really say. Uh, if you have any questions, you can send me a message on here um, or give me like detailed things in the video. Uh, I just, like I said, I can't really uh, talk about uh, what's going on. Even if I, I could, um, the decision's been made. I think we all can agree, I think a lot of people can agree too, that uh, stepping back for a while is going to be great. Um, none of this, um, none of this is being documented, thank God. Um, I know I've talked to them and I've already said my piece. I think that filming right now is extremely toxic. 
Um, and I think that we just need our space for a while and we need to heal. Um, there's been a lot of craziness things go on. Um, there's been just, just too much drama and too much um, public people sticking their noses into things and causing problems and complications. Uh, so we are going to be stepping back uh, to the amazing country of Brazil in this beautiful, beautiful Amazon region. And uh, I am actually learning Portuguese. Um, I am actually working on the internet, but I'm also finding some work here. Uh, so um, I will, I will say this too, I am still keeping my house in the United States. I am still keeping all my stuff in the United States. Um, I am not permanent, permanently relocating here. I'm only here for the time being so we can have some privacy and we can heal. Um, I will be on social media about, uh, you know, some different things here, showing off Brazil, how beautiful it is, how amazing it is, um, and how I'm progressing in the country. Um, but there's not going to be updates um, in regards to uh, me, I'm talking about family, or, uh, of course, my wife or my sons or sons. Um, that's no longer going to be involved in that. Um, it's strictly going to be um, about travel-related things, um, maybe some comedic things. Um, but, um, like I said, my family is no longer going to be involved in that. Um, and it's just going to be um, as uh, positive and structured as possible without them being involved, um, I guess the best way I can put it. But my previous social media addiction and a previous problem that I had venting everything to everybody in the internet uh, was very toxic and it was a really bad thing. Um, I really feel bad putting my marital problems on the internet. I really feel bad exposing uh, situations that shouldn't have been exposed. I really feel bad about allowing that social media and addiction to vent uh, out there um, instead of keeping things more private. And uh, so now I'm keeping things more private. And uh, like I said, uh, while I did have a very, very bad social media addiction, I'm going to go back and use it um, as constructively as possible um, and not like it was previously. So hopefully that, that goes well. But anyway, uh, hope you all like this video. I appreciate you guys ordering cameos. Uh, I'm trying to make them fun, interesting. I'm doing a lot of home tours right now. As you see every night, um, the house, the, new, the apartment is changing drastically every night. So if, if people order one cameo one night, the next day it progresses greatly. Um, it should be 100% complete. It's gonna be like an HGTV makeover, look beautiful. I'm hoping by um, the end of the week, at the absolute worst case, probably by next week, but it's getting there pretty good. But anyway, um, gotta get back in here. I appreciate you guys, wish you all the best, and uh, feel free to reach out to me anytime. Thank you again um, for uh, keeping uh, in touch with us and everything. Okay, so overall thoughts. Uh, from watching the cameo, I think we can all kind of level and say that I think Paul has a good ability to listen to criticism and grow as a person. Now, I don't know what happened with him and Karini. You guys don't know, I don't know. We just speculate at this point. I do think that um, it's good to get off social media and focus on your mental health for these two individuals where it's like for Paul, dude, it's, he's under fire right now. I think that point that he brought up about getting off social media and just working on things and getting the place in Brazil ready for his family is a good thing. And I don't know for the future what the future holds. I don't know if him and Karini are gonna still be together at the end of this. But honestly, I hope they can work it out and Karini's for sure gonna be happier in Brazil. She's wanted to go back there for years. So I think hopefully Paul can get a visa or something and he can live in Brazil or live in America, whatever they wanna do if they don't wanna be together, so be it. Even if him and Karini aren't together and they're separated, I still think you should be there for the kid and I think that's the healthiest thing is still having your dad in your life. So yeah, hopefully they can work it out, good vibes. I do think that Paul has a bigger sack than Andre and Elizabeth because they didn't answer me back and Paul answered me back with two cameos. Well guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Comment below, subscribe. Let's be friends, let's be friends. Follow me on Twitch and on Instagram right now.